Hi everybody, welcome to Mayhem Bling, where it's creativity amid chaos each and every day. If you've been trying to figure out how to print and cut large from Silhouette Studio for sublimation, you have come to the right place. Boy, do I have a video for you. My name's Joe. I'm the creator designer here at Mayhem Bling, and I just wanted to offer you a video to show you how to print and cut large from Silhouette Studio. I am using the basic edition of Silhouette Studio today. I'm on a Windows 10 laptop using my Silhouette Studio software. So what we're going to do first, uh, this is the general page layout that I see each and every time that I log into my Silhouette Studio. Uh, this is just the basic page setup. I'm going to move my design over to the side and we're going to work on our page setup first. So what we're going to do, if you just come up here to the piece of paper, click on that, that'll open up your page setup here. We're going to click on the piece of paper. We're going to leave this on auto cameo. We're going to change the cameo 12 by 12 to cameo 12 by 24. and then we're going to change the media size to custom. Once we have it changed to the 12 by 24 inch mat on the media size, we're going to choose custom and we're going to change that to 11 inches wide by 17 inches in height. because that's the size of the paper that we're going to be printing on. We're going to be using tabloid 11 by 17. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to not see the grid because we need to be able to see our print and cut lines. So I'm going to turn the grid off and as you can see our print and cut lines are showing. The gray one is our print area, the red one is our cut area. So we need to change the size of the gray area. So what we're going to do is go up here to file and then print. You're going to select your sublimation printer. Mine is the Workforce 7720. So that's the correct one. Then I'm going to click on preferences. I'm going to tell it which paper tray I want to use this is just going to be based on your printer setup. So you may not do everything exactly the way I do it here, but I'm going to choose paper cassette 2 because that's where I keep my larger paper and I'm going to change this to tabloid which is 11 by 17. Then I'm going to go over here and click on more options. Document size is 11 by 17. I'm going to change my color correction to custom and I'm going to click on advanced and I'm going to choose ICM and I'm going to say OK. But again, your color correction and also your paper selection is going to depend on the type of sublimation ink and sublimation paper that you are using. Then I'm going to go down here and uncheck high speed. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to click apply. Here's where the magic happens. We're not going to click print from here. We're going to click cancel and if you'll keep your eye on the screen you'll see the gray box change sizes. When I click cancel, now when I zoom in the gray box whoops, zoom in, not zoom out. Now when I zoom in, you'll see that the gray box and the red box are the size of the paper. So that expanded our print area to larger than the 8.5 by 11. Now we have to do the setup for cutting. So we're going to come over here to our 
registration mark tab and we're going to click on that. We're going to click to turn the registration marks on and as you can see over here now the cut line has moved in about a half an inch from the edge of the paper but we can change that to get the most use out of our real estate of our paper here and right up here on inset we're going to take this slider and we're going to move it all the way over to the left and as you can see now the cut area is about a quarter of an inch or so so we gained a little bit of space what we need to do is make sure that our, our design our image is in between all of this stuff it can't be here in the hatch marks it needs to be inside the print and the cut area so let's finish setting up our page we're going to go back over to our page right here click on it and we're going to go right down here and change the orientation from portrait to landscape that's going to flip our page around here our, our mat and we all know that if we're printing and cutting for sublimation, we have to mirror our image. I don't mirror my image in my printer software. I mirror my image because I like to see on my screen what I'm going to be printing. So you can right click and flip horizontally. And then we're going to bring that over onto our page. And I'm going to zoom in here so we can see it a little bit better. I can actually close this out. We don't need that anymore. And so now, now what we're going to do is just expand our image so that it fits within all the parameters of our page setup. stretch it out this way we need to make sure we're staying within our print and our cut lines and also that we're not in the hatch marks so we can looks like we can go a little bit more and then I'm going to move this down just a little bit and you can use your arrow keys too if you just need to move it a little bit and your arrow keys on your keyboard and I'm going to click off of it so that we can see everything clearly so we can see we're well within the boundaries we're close here but we're we're within the boundaries there actually I think I might just move it this way just a little bit because I want to show you something else with this as well and click off again just to make sure we're where we need to be okay all right so it looks like we have got everything set up the way we need it to go ahead and print this on our sublimation paper so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file print We've already done everything we need to as far as our preferences, so we're going to go ahead and just click print. So it'll take a few minutes to process the printing. Okay, so once you've got it printed, you're going to place it on your mat in the orientation that you see on your screen. Okay, once you've got your, your printed design on your mat, you're going to come up here to send and as you can see it's just going to cut around the edge if yours doesn't look like this you want to make sure you just click on cut edge you only want it to cut around the border of your design then over here you're going to pick what it is that you're cutting and again this is going to be determined you know each silhouette might cut a little bit different um, I would probably choose 
I would probably choose image transfer paper, but again, that is on mine, and you can also set your material type as well. Like I said, this is going to be determined by your silhouette. I'm using um, Cameo 3, so mine might be a little bit different than your settings. Okay, so once you have your settings right and you've got your mat loaded and it's in your your cutting machine, you're going to go ahead and do send. Now, I'm not plugged into my cutting machine right now, so it's not going to do that, but you're going to hit send and it's going to just cut the edge. Now, let's go back to design because here's one of the reasons that I wanted to do this, how to print and cut. Let's say we were going to place this on some material, some fabric for something. Maybe we're making a a banner or a flag or something like that. And if I wanted to sublimate this onto, let's say, HTV glitter, then I might want to cut out the shape, the exact shape of what it is that I'm sublimating. So to do your offset, you're just going to click on your design. You're going to come down here to the star that's got a star around it and click on that. That's the offset tool. Then you're going to come up here and click on offset. And sometimes it takes just a minute for it to process it. So now you can see the offset and you can see the size of the offset here. You can change this by dragging this up or down, right or left. You can change the size of it by using the arrows here. You can have a smooth cur corner or a sharp corner. I'm going to leave it just the way it is because my offset panel has been glitching and I think it's because I've got my screen recording software running too. So I'm just going to leave this offset the way it is and I'm going to click apply. But as I said, you can change the size of the offset there in that panel. And now that the offset has been applied, I can just close that window out. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move my design out of the way now so we can just see the offset. All right, so here we have the offset. And the first thing I see is that we've got this area here and a really small area up there that we don't need our machine to cut out. So we're going to get rid of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the offset part and you're going to click release compound path. And now you're going to see that this has a little box around it and this has a box around it. So click off of it. Then you're going to click on that little area and you see that just that area is selected and you can hit delete and it goes away. You're going to click on this little area. It's going to select just that area and hit delete. Now we're just going to have a solid cutout for our, H our glitter HTV in order to sublimate on top of that glitter HTV. So now you're going to put your Glitter HTV on your mat and you're going to run it through your machine. You're going to do send. You're going to come up here. You're going to choose the Glitter HTV. So it's going to be heat transfer. Oh, where'd it go? Heat transfer. Glitter right here. Let me go up. You're going to choose that. It's going to set it. It's just cutting out the outside, and you're going to do send. So now you have the exact shape that you need for your glitter HTV, and then you have your design that's going to fit perfectly inside of it when you go to press your design on the Glitter HTV. I'm going to select all of this and flip it back around. 
so we can see it the right direction. And there you have it. That is how you can print and cut larger than 8.5 by 11 using the basic edition of Silhouette Studio. If you would, in the comments below, please leave me a comment of what it is that you would like to learn how to do in the Silhouette Studio software. I am planning on doing more tutorial videos and I would love to know what it is that you need help figuring out how to do it or something that you've been trying to do and you're stumped. I would love to be able to help. I do know that there are more than one ways to skin a cat and there are more than just the way I do it to do things but I'm just teaching my way the way I do things in my Silhouette Studio software. So if you have something that you want to learn how to do please leave it in the comments and I will be more than happy to do a video on how to achieve what it is that you're trying to do. And again, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and also the bell notification right beside it. That helps my channel to grow and it will also notify you each and every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please leave me some comments of what you would like to see as far as uh, tutorials in the future. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you again. Have a good day. Bye now.